and that's gone. There it is. Ace to win the set. It's caught. 20-10. Touchdown. This is going to be in the gap. Yes, yes, yes. Goal. Yes. 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 Good evening and welcome to Champlin Park High School and we have a boys basketball showdown tonight. Number two, 4A Park Center at Champlin Park tonight. Steve Thomas along with Pete Hayes and a great QCTV crew and Park Center 12 and one out of the gate, but one of their key guys banged up and injured tonight, Pete. Yeah, he is banged up and injured, uh, broken thumb, but they still have a bunch of guys who can play the game of basketball and you're going to watch Park Center. They're going to want to get up and down the court. I think Champlin Park's going to have to slow them down to have an opportunity to win this game. And they're going to need to shoot the ball very well indeed. And of course, we we're visiting about Jackson Folks uh, out with the thumb injury and James Ware told me two weeks minimum. So there's still plenty of time to go in the regular season and they'll be able to get him back. But they have plenty of scoring punch for sure. Uh, in their lineup tonight and uh, up and down they've got you know beyond that four guys that average in double figures all right gooch cash chavis 17.4 a game chang ring the big guy inside 18 a game and timmy otoyembo averaging 10.4 a game so you, you take away the scoring of folks and they still have plenty of firepower. Yeah, absolutely, with uh, four guys in double figures besides him. You know, and then you're going to be able to look at your depth a little bit more, Steve. You know, it's going to help them out in the long run. So, you know, it's a positive, and it's also a big negative not having a guy like him in the lineup. And the Pirates, of course, uh, the state title two years ago, runner-up to Wyzetta one year ago. So they're in the mode where it's not enough to get to the state tournament they're playing for state titles yeah absolutely they have one loss in the season and that's to Tatino Grace and uh, every place they go a big crowd follows and there's a big crowd here tonight so it should be really exciting yeah it is parents night the band is here should be a good one and of course uh, for Champlin Park Preston Tilke Kyler Pust uh, Mo Jallo uh, Amori Peterson and Cartomo Ciclopo will get the start for Champlin Park. Head coach Aaron Kleppner, 5-7 and seven on the year, 1-5 overall. Uh, the Pirates, who mentioned 12-1, and one, ranked number two overall. Their only loss on the road in Fridley at Totino Grace. Timmy Otoyembo, uh, Chang Ring, Ari Gooch, Cash, Chavis, and Xavier Freelix will get the start tonight. And he's averaging three a game a 6-2 sophomore guard uh, will get the start in place of folks here tonight so it's ring the big guy jumping it up against Tilkey and ring wins the tip and it'll go into the back court to Chavis and Chavis will go to work fun player to watch they get it down low shot up no good and stepping out of bounds with the rebound was Amori Peterson Peterson couldn't do the tightrope act, and it goes out of bounds. Park Center's going to hang on. It's kind of like, uh-oh, I, <laughs> I think it ran out of real estate here. Javis gets it in. This is Ring on top. He'll kick it out on the wing, and that shot by Freelix off. Another shot at it. Gooch, he'll miss. Long rebound tapped out of there and grabbed by 
to Lickpo, and they go right down the floor and get the bucket. Nice feed. Jallo, 2-0, Champlin Park. So they'll, they'll take it. Mo Jallo knocks it down. Jallo averaging 9.2 game. Quick three on the way, and that's knocked down by Chavis. Yeah, they they're not afraid. Got range. Yeah, they're not afraid. Sorry, Steve, to, to throw it up. They've thrown up four three-pointers already. They're one for four, but uh, they have that size advantage inside, and they're getting some big kickouts on rebounds. Poos carried it, and that's turnover on Champlin Park. Kyler Poos, 5'11", sophomore guard, averaging 5.8 a game. That's something Champlin Park can't afford is to turn it over. They have to have clean trips down the floor. Here's a mid-range jumper off no good by Freelix. And the rebound's going to come down to Champlin Park and a foul on Park Center in transition as they try and slow it down. 16.53 to go first half. Number two, Park Center at Champlin Park just underway. And on the inbound, it'll be Peterson. And the foul on the play is going to go against Ari Gooch. That'll be number one on him, number one on the Pirates. Yeah, Champlin Park looking to slow it down a little bit here. Down three to two early. That one's turned over again. Another turnover on Champlin Park. Trying the reverse layup and hitting it. Chavis, and he has five. Has Chavis with five already out of the gate. Look, Poole. And another steal, and Park Center is going to lay it up and in. Freelix running the floor. 7 0 run, and the Pirates lead it 7 2. Yeah, you can hardly take a breath, Steve. They go, go, go. They get that ball. Three turnovers already by Champlin Park, and they can ill afford that. They got to make some shots. Tilkey drives in and off the glass and in. He waited beautifully. He's 7 4 Pirates. Yeah, we had a chance to see Tilkey last year. Pretty impressed by him. Good little shooter. Gooch swings it over to the right. Outside, it's ring. Ring tries to work his way in front. Almost lost the handle. It's Chavis. Chavis spots up for three. That off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound to the Pirates. Now loading it up. Gooch and he'll hit it. Gooch has a three. And it's 10-4 Park Center. They're not going boo. They're going Gooch. Here's Tilke. Swings it further out. To Lake Pole. And now it's Tilkey to the elbow. Gets run into by ring. No call. Tilkey on top. Spots up. And he buries it. Preston Tilkey has five. And they're going to need a lot of that tonight to hang in there. 15 to go. A half number one. Wing on the right. He may have walked and got away with it. Ring will get the bucket his first two. But he took that extra step, beat. Yeah, it sure looked like it to me, but the officials might have missed one right there, but Park Center's saying that's okay. Yeah, James Ware is fine with it. Poos driving in. He's being guarded very tightly by Xavier Freelix. And the foul's going to go on Freelix. That'll be his first. Champlin parked inbound. That'll be Peterson. Peterson gets it on the inbound near the block. Works his way in. Blocked out of there by Ring. And then Ring in transition. Misses the dunk and it goes out of bounds. Champlin Park ball. Boy, Chang Ring would love to have that one back. <laughs> it was showtime. Here's a look at it right here. He blocks the shot and then goes all the way down the court. And you're thinking, here it comes. And he came up a little bit short. Tilkey in the backcourt. He's the quarterback on the football team. Really getting hounded there. Barely got rid of it. Now they swing it down low. Here's Poost in the paint. Goes up quickly and got the bucket. Good play there. 12-9. Pirates in the ball. Yeah, nice job by Champlin Park hanging in here early on. Uh, but you can't hardly breathe. you got to get back on defense because here they come. They try to get it in the corner to ring, but it's knocked out of bounds by the Rebels. And Champlin Park, Javon Kiros will check into the game. Kiros, a six foot senior guard, averaging 5.8 a game. And sitting down is going to be Poost. Quick three on the way, and that's Gooch. No. And the rebound comes down to Kiros. 
They lob it down low to Kiros. Now kick it out to the corner. And that's a main three for Salikpo. He's averaging 7.3 a game. We're tied at 12. Timeout. 13.40 to go first half. And here's those rankings. Why is that a one? Then Park Center. Minnetonka, Farmington, Lakeville North. Ozio Orioles from the conference, ranked number nine. And, and you see the strength of the lake. You see the strength of uh, the Northwest Suburban and the South Suburban. <laughs> a lot of great teams. Yeah, it's, it's nice seeing Minneapolis Washburn in there. Yeah. You haven't seen them there for a long, long time. Waconia is a suburb out west there, and uh, they just have good sports at Waconia, you know, no matter what sport it is. Oh, beautiful facilities out there in Waconia. Uh, you're a baseball guy. They got a great ballpark in Waconia. Yeah, I've seen it's that. Beauty. It, yeah, it is. It's it's really nice. And like you said, the facilities are nice. So it's yeah. nice to see Waconia in the in the top ten. Well, and they 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 have they've they've got that's your phone, not mine. They look <laughs> identical. Um, they've got a great hockey rink as well in Waconia. They they have spared no expense on facilities. Driving in, missing the shot, but he'll get two on the plays. Cashmere Chavis, 17.4 a game. Cash has five and trying to add to that total. First team foul on Champlin Parks. Going to go on Mo Jallo. Yeah, we're 13 minutes left here in the first half, and we haven't seen any substitutions yet, so it'll be interesting to see what both of these teams' benches look like as we get along here a little further on in this first half. 12-12, and we had to... A little bit of a meeting over there. Jallo visiting with head coach Aaron Kleppner. And that free throw up and in by Chavis. First free throw of the game is a make. Pirates have the lead. Well, Champlain Park has to be happy where they're at right now. They're, they're matching them, getting up and down the court, playing some good defense, and we only have a one-point difference in the score. And I think the gigantic challenge is being able to maintain that for 36 minutes. Which against uh, this team. Yeah, only one team has done that so far this year. Yeah, that so was the Tino Grace. So, yeah, it's a long ways to go, but good start for Champlain Park. Here it was into the front court. Park center plays outstanding man. Down to Tilke, fumbled it, got it back, and now he'll get it on the wing left. And now he swings it on top. Kuros tries to dribble out of there. Now Tilke again around the corner, drives in. He got hammered, got the shot away, and he'll get two. And I don't know who this is going to go on, but there was some punishment dished out there, and that foul is going to go on Otoyembo. Yeah. Jimmy Otoyembo averaging 10.4 a game. First foul there, and the third on the Pirates. Well, you almost could have called an offensive foul. He he pushed off with that left hand as he's going to the hoop, but he was going in, in the trees there. Nice job by three for Champlain Park. And I think that's what you need to do. If you're going to try and shoot threes all night, you really got to take it at Park Center. And, and with ring in the middle, easier said than done. But, you know, try to get to the line. And Tilke did and made them both. And now he has seven points, and we're tied at 14. Yeah, and a few fouls by Park Center here early on in this game. Aiden Menemy into the game. Now out on the wing. Here's Felix. Gets it down low, knocked away, and it's grabbed there by Jallo. Mo Jallo grabs it. And now Kuros fires it ahead into the front court. Peterson, that is stolen away. It's stolen away by Gooch. Gooch down the floor all the way to the hole. Is it in? Oh, that was pretty right there. Dribbling with his left hand, went to his right hand, up and under and in the basket. Here's Chilke on the wing, kicks it further out. And now it's Kuros. Kuros, runner down the baseline, missed it. That's a really tough shot. Back the other way, Freelix. And then he had it go out of bounds, and it went out of bounds off Champlain Park. And the Rebels are going to hang on. Now they're going to go to their bench. Dominic Mueller comes in. Kyler Poos checks in. Peterson's going to get a breather. And also sitting down, Mo Jallo. Jallo and Peterson to the bench. And on the inbound, the Pirates. Chavis gets it in. Well, somebody Agooch. fell asleep there. 18 14 Pirates. Gooch has seven. Gooch has seven. Chambers has seven. Champlin Park turns it over again. They're fourth. 
once again, they just cannot afford that. Coming up on 12 to go on the half and running the point. This is Menemy on top. Chavis kicks it out in the corner. Gooch, another three. He has 10. 21 14, quick 7 0 run by the Pirates. Tilkey gets it out on the left in the ball game. Look, Quo, shot no good, and the rebound ring. That was a th- and then a foul driving into the front court. And that'll be Salikpo's first, second on Champlin Park. Yeah, Gooch is feeling it right now for Park Center, and uh, Champlin Park's got to try to hold this game close. They're down right now by seven. We still have 11 and a half minutes left to play, and I'll tell you what, Park Center, they only have one gear, and that's fifth. If you've ever, oh yeah, a, a, a shift I used car. to have three on the tree. <laughs> three but. on the tree. Yeah. There you go. Uh. Chavis, Chavis into the lane. Runner off, no good. Following his shot, scramble for the rebound. Chavis to ring. Ring goes down hard. He got undercut by Kiros. They're not going to call any fouls. But it looks like Park Center is going to have it, and. Chavis is going to inbound. Yeah, here's right another ahead. look at it. Following a shot like you should. Cash Chavis. Yeah, good call by the officials there. On the inbound, a bucket. Tilkey drives in. He answers the other way. Tilkey has nine. Park Center into the front court up by seven. Yeah, Under 11 to go on the half. Tilkey's the man right now for Champlin Park. He's keeping him in this game. He's going to need some help from some of his other players. Blocked out of there. Gooch threw up a tough shot. Blocked out of bounds by Dominic Mueller, 6'5", junior wing for Champlin Park. Pirates are going to hang out. Yeah, here's another look at, at that drive and the block and, and foul. By the way, for the Pirates, ring with four, Gooch with ten. Chavis with seven, Felix with two. At the line is going to be Gooch, who's had a good game and knocks it down. Pirates three at three from the line. And their big lead was a moment ago at 23 to 14. Tilkey answered, and now Gooch at the line trying to get it back to nine points. With Folks out of the game, Gooch has taken over that leadership role, at least so far in this game here for Park Center. Champlin Park in the backcourt, Kiros. Kiros over the timeline. And he gets it ahead. This is Mueller. Peterson on the floor. Peterson hands it off, Kiros. Tilke getting a much needed breather. Going into the paint, Mueller gives it up. Nice feed. Poost has two. 25-18. The other way, Gooch a three. The rebound to Peterson. And now here's Champlin Park. Slick pole. Put up a shot. No. And the rebound hauled in. Menemy gives it up, ring under the bucket, saves it. He stepped out of bounds. Turnover on Park Center, number two. There's another one of those high wired stepping on the line right there, those long yeah. arms. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> that was really close. The, the, the official was right there. He sure was, so you have to give that to him. 25 18. And now it's Javon Kiro, sophomore guard, 5'8". Of course, Aaron Kluppner took over from Mark Tuckshire, who had a great run here at Champlin Park. Tilke in, almost lost the handle, gives it up. Here's Mueller into the paint. He gets rid of it. Kiro's on top. Now to Peterson, lowers his shoulder, and that's stolen away by Chavis. And then it goes out of bounds, and I think it went out of bounds off Minimi. Minimi. Yeah, Champlin Park's going to retain possession here. It's just under 10 minutes to go. 25 18. Leading score, Gooch, 
with 12 for the Pirates. Nine for Tilke for Champlin Park. Peterson to inbound, fires it to Kiros, puts up a shot, and he got fouled, and Aiden Menemy doesn't like it. Well, he should be shooting three here. A big, big point in this ball game right here. Like I talked about earlier, you don't want to get behind and double digits to this team. So he should be shooting three here, I think, Steve. That is four on the Pirates. Five fouls on Champlin Park. Or three fouls on Champlin Park. Four on Park Center. And at the line, Kuros hasn't scored until just now. Well, Tilke's back in the game for Champlin Park. He didn't rest very long. Yeah, Park Center just puts so much heat on you that, you know, you touch the ball. It, it's it's just you got to get that short bit of rest to come back out and, and deal with that pressure. Yeah, and he has the ball in his hand most of the time for Champlin Park, so. They are putting a lot of pressure on him. That's a lot of hard work going on by number three for Champlin Park. And now it looks like Kiros has to go out. He's got an issue. And on the floor, Gavin Walter. And now I, we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a timeout. And I think we, we got maybe a little blood over there as Kiros went over. And... We're going to need to get the floor cleaned up with 9.20 to go. 25-19 of the score. Champlin Park in trouble early, down 7-2 to in the game. Battled back, tied it at 12, tied it again at 14. And then Park Center can just go on these quick runs, 9-0 run from 14-all to 23-14. And we, we have seen that over the last handful of years with this Park Center Pirate team that – you know, you fall asleep for a minute, they're going to put six, eight points on the board right now. Well, they're a really confident bunch, Steve. You know, this is a team that's been to the state tournament over and over and over yep. again and been in the big games. And I'll tell you, if you play that way and you play in those big games, you love this atmosphere tonight. And a good league again. Totino Gray is unbeaten. Rogers, 5 and 1. Ocio, 4 and 0. Oh, Maple Grove. Great program. Park Center 4 and 1. Anoka's got a nice team. They had a huge win at Andover early in the week. That was a thrilling ball game. Trey Borchers, a three to pull it out for the Tornadoes right at the end of that one. Uh, go back and check out. That was a whale of a high school ball game. So a great league, no doubt. Yeah, you know, that's a section game right there, Anoka and Andover. And, uh, you know, that's going to be wide open, that section, I'll tell you what. Here's Walter. And he'll knock it down. So Walter takes the final free throw to make it 25 20. Kiro's got one of two. Walter goes one of one. Bit unusual. Here's Chavis on top. Cash Chavis swings it out on the left. Gooch down into the corner. Three ball on the way. No long rebound out of there. That shot taken by Otoyembo. And now it's Tilke. Tilke works to the right. Otoyembo comes out to cover him. And now it's Mueller. Peterson comes way out on the floor. Almost stolen away. Kept it alive. Now a three on the way. Heel to the rim, no good. Rebound ripped down by Ring. That was Mork, actually. Ring on the bench. Beat him Mork with the board. Yeah, he's a big guy too. They kick it to the outside, driving in, Menemy. And a good rebound there by Walter. And he'll give it up to Peterson. You know, Champlain Park's doing a nice job rebounding. There was three guys right there uh, cleaning the mess up. Tilke's gonna drive in all the way to the hole, miss the layup. He was hounded there by Mork. Right back the other way. Minimi gives it up in the paint. Needs some help. Tilke almost stolen away. Grab back by Gooch. He'll give it up. Chavis will don't. No foul. He wanted a foul. He has nine points. 
And he may have a beef there. Runner down the lane, off no good, and the rebound hauled in by Mork. And now we have a jump ball, and Champlin Park's going to hang on to it. But Chavis just got hammered after letting it fly. Yeah, he threw that one down hard, and he went down hard. So I think yeah. he did have a good beef. Here's another look at yeah. it. Nice look at pass. This. I think he got fouled. Yeah. Champlin Park may have got away with one there with 7.35 to go on the half. And that was Mueller. Hasn't fouled anybody. Boost. Now Tilke, Peterson. Tilke in the corner off a screen. No, rebound tapped around. Stolen back by Walter. And are we going to get a foul? I think we're going to get a foul on Walter. Or did he step I out think, of bounds? I think they call traveling. Oh. Yeah, I thought I saw the traveling sign going on there. But uh, you really got to like to compete if Champlin Park right there. That's just compete. Taking that ball away might have shuffled the feet a little bit. Uh, it's a good rivalry over the years, no doubt about it. Chavis off to the left. Driving in, ring, gives it up. Chavis a three. No. And a fight for the rebound, and it's going to be controlled by Walter. He'll give to Tilke. Tilke's going to bring it up the floor. Under seven to go. First half. Tilke double clutches down the lane. Oh, blocked out of there by Ring. Chavis on the break. Back the other way, trying the shot. And the charge is going to go on Aiden Memini. Yeah, he didn't like the call. But a nice job by Champlin Park to Champlin Park's defender setting his setting his feet. Bib foul on the Pirates. Gooch into the game. Memini will sit down. Three fouls on Champlin Park, and Mueller's going to come out of the game. Jallo back in. Peterson's out there. Park Center's going to use a little uh, full court pressure here. And they get it in. Poost in trouble. Now they're going to let him back out of there. Shot clock has not been a factor tonight with the pace. Jallo drives in, or Poos drives in. Blocked out of there, and it went out of bounds off Ring. Okay, Ring couldn't control it. He has four points. And Champlin Park to inbound, and that'll be Peterson. Champlin Park's doing a good job bringing the ball up court. Peterson looking to get it in. Better hurry. Way to the outside. Poos catches. Got bumped out there by... Ari Gooch driving in Peterson. And he got bumped. He got bumped. And of course, Ring was closing in for the block. And he tried to kick it out. And that foul on the play is going to go on Timmy Otoyembo. Yeah, he's blocked two a few. Him. He's blocked a few here, Steve, so far. And they keep going in there. So I got to hand it to Champlin Park. Six foul on the Pirates. Lob all the way to the backcourt. Walter grabs. And he is countered by Xavier Prelix. Prelix with the hold. And James Ware doesn't really complain to the official. He says, Prelix, what are you doing? Yeah, he's pretty cool and calm over there. But yeah. when you have a team like this, you can be cool and calm. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know, certainly not happy that Folks is banged up with the broken thumb. We'll see when he returns. Could be by the end of the month. Front end, no good. Walter misses the front end. He is now one of two from the line. He finished the free throws for Kuros. There's Park Center. This is Freelix. Dribbling on the outside now, Chavis. Chavis is going to drive, and he got fouled from behind. That is Walter on the reach. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more of that, Steve, as uh, Park Center going to the basket. They're settling on threes a lot, you know, and Coach doesn't seem too upset about it. But uh, I'd like to see him have, you know, a few more drives to the basket and cause some fouls. Down in the corner, three, no, out of there. Freelix took that three off the inbound from Chavis. And now it's Peterson into the front court for the Rebels. 5.40 to go, first half. Pressuring the ball, Otoyembo. Now it's Selikpo. 
On the elbow, backs out of there. Peterson, right side. Tilke getting a breather. Nice look down low. A shot up off. Oh, Jallo will get free throws. That's the eighth on Park Center. Yeah, Jallo is 6 2 junior, 9.2 a game. Playing man to man defense the whole game here so far. And when you do that, there's, there's opportunities for a few more fouls than playing a zone defense. Follow on Gooch, number two on him. No one with the Pirates with more than two. And that'll fall for Jallo. He has three points. A lot of action, fairly low scoring though, 27-21. Park Center, well into the 70s, 80s, sometimes 90s this season. Champlin Park this year, 68.2. Pass down, low oh, Ring will put it down. Ring yep. has six. That was a great pass right there to Ring. Makes amends for the the slam dunk that he missed earlier. Nice job. Walter trying to drive, stops, fires it down low. Jallo up, no ring, grabs the board. It'll hand it off, Chavis. Chavis into the front court, right down the lane, all the way to the hole. Lays it in, Chavis has 11. Pirates by 10, 4.40 to go. Right back the other way. Driving bucket for Poost, he has six. 31-23, timeout on the floor, 4.35 to go. So these teams getting up and down. Yeah, nice nice timeout there by Champlin Park. Kind of slow things down here a little bit. They're down by eight. Still have a few minutes left here in the first half. And I think if you're Champlin Park, you have to be pretty happy where you're at right now. Yeah, hanging in there, no doubt. Now, quite a play. The feed to ring in the dunk a moment ago. Definitely a highlight real play for the Park Center Pirates and as they move on without Jackson Fultz in the short term uh, final game of the week and then next week three ball games at Coon Rapids at Elk River Tuesday Thursday and then they'll be at Benilde St. Margaret's in the Wisconsin Minnesota border battle taking on Eau Claire Memorial the old Abe's from Eau Claire Memorial the old Abe's yeah well, I, I would do Wisconsin scores on the Friday night football yeah, show. Yeah. And I learned that nickname <laughs> a long time ago. Yep. The old Abe's. 31 23 Pirates. They have the ball. 4 30 to go. Freelix swings it over to Chavis on the right. Now it's Ring near the block trying to get inside on the ground. Tilke will pick it up. Peterson back for the Rebels on the break. He'll fire it down low. Batted to Salik so Poe. And now I'll give it to Peterson, and they took an extra step or two. Six turnover on Champlin Park, just two on the Pirates. 31-23, Park center the ball. Xavier Friedrich on the inbound, two points. And now it's Chavis, and he'll walk it up the floor. Chavis with 11, Gooch with 12. Get it down low to ring, up and in. Ring's got eight. That's a little better by Ring right there. Last time he had it down low, he put the ball on the ground. He really sh wants to just keep that thing up high and do what he just did right there. Peterson looks down low, gets Tilke in the corner. Chavis guarding him. That's tipped away, and it's going to be controlled ultimately by Champlin Park in the backcourt. Good hustle back there by Salikpo. Here's Tilke on the wing. Now Peterson, three, got it. He showed some range, his first points there. 33-26, Pirates by seven in the ball. That's a big hit right there by Peterson. Averaging 11.1 a game, 6-3 senior guard. Ring in the corner, guarded by Jallo. Gets it further out, Chavis in the paint area, Otoyembo. His first bucket. And now it's Tilke. Tilke guarded by Otoyembo. Knocked away. Ring comes out. Steals it away. Then knocked out of bounds by Jallo. And Park Center's going to hang on. Yeah, Jallo relaxed just a little bit there. And you cannot do that against Park Center. You know, he kind of took his time and they knocked it away from him. Now they have possession of the ball. 
Bamanita inbound. And now it's Felix. Chavis is out there along with Ring and Gooch. Inside Ring, catch, can't. And then Jallo loses it off his leg out of bounds. Oh, he almost came up with it. He was trailing Ring and almost stole it away. Yeah, I like the way that uh, Park Center is trying to get the ball inside here a little bit more in the last two, three minutes. Javis inbound. And he fires it. Now it comes into the near corner. Ring three. No. And the board grabbed by Slickpo for Champlin Park. He throws it away. Here they come right back at it. Runner down the lane. Freelix has four. 37-26. Pirates by 11. Coming up on two to go. So look, Poe, top of the key. Off to the right, Kiros. Kiros was bleeding for a bit. He's okay on the floor. That one's knocked away. Ring. Tapped it away from Jallo for the moment. Peterson will drive in. Left-handed layup. That was, that was a nice play. He has five. Yeah, nice bite, bounce pass there to Peterson. Ring gets it. Out on the wing, and he got followed by Jello. That'll be number two on him. Fifth on Champlin Park, and, and they they don't have any foul trouble, and certainly don't want to put Park Center at the line, but it could be a little more physical. Here's uh, Bemini, knocks it down. Yeah, he's not a th- afraid to throw it up. Good shooter for Park Center. He has three. Kuros. Kuros front court right side down into the corner. Selikpo. Further in. Trying to find room. Mueller right back out. Kuros the drive. Missed a shot. Rebound Gooch. Gooch running the floor right up the middle. Had it tipped away. Grabbed by Tilke. Now it's Selikpo the other way. He'll go in. Missed a shot. Follow running the floor beautifully. Mueller. Good hustle play. Pirates by 10. 110 to go on the half. Chavis to, or excuse me, that was Memony trying to get it to Ring, and Ring couldn't handle a turnover on the Pirates. Just number three on them. That's pretty impressive. I really like the way that Ring plays defense, too. Doesn't leave his oh. feet. Uh, he's got those long arms, and he does a nice job, moves his feet well. 6 8 senior. Very impressive player. Big part of that state runner up team a year ago. They fall to Wyzetta. Kuros down the lane. Blocked by Ring. Speaking of Ring. Back the other way. It's Gooch. That's blocked out of there. Tapped into the air. Tilke comes out of nowhere with it. Gives it to Peterson with 40 to go. And here's Tilke on the break for the Rebels. Down the lane. Kicks it out in the corner. Select pole three. Long no good. Rebound Chavis. And Chavis will come the other way. Behind the back dribble. Feet into Ring. Knocked out of there. Grabbed somehow by Champlin Park. Bodies flying all over the place. And a timeout with 25.5. This, this game here in northern Hennepin County has some meaning. Yeah, absolutely. These guys know each other. Don't yeah. kid yourself. Yeah, some good hustle right there at Champlin Park. You know, they're down by 10. I think this is a big possession for them. Try to keep this thing in single digits going into the second half. You know, they've... They so showed some real guts out here so far in the first half. Well, and Pete, you think about the quality of basketball over the years. You, you go back 15 years. You think of Park Center and Osseo and Champlin Park and Maple Grove right up here in this little corner of Hennepin County. That's pretty good hoops over the years. Yeah, and like you said, it's been going on for a oh, long, yeah. long time. Yeah, know? Tim Tyson's been at the helm for what 20 years at Osseo he's had a lot of good teams we brought up Mark Tuckshire here at Champlin Park James Ware and his run at Park Center and then of course what they've done over at Maple Grove it, and, and really you could probably you know go up in a hot air balloon and point out all four high schools they're pretty close together yeah and it seems like every year one of them's right down yeah no doubt downtown at the end that's for sure great hoops there in northern Hennepin County and here's Champlin Park, and you're right, big possession. Shot clock off. They want to get a good look. Kuros around the corner, down into the corner, bobbled by Peterson. 17-footer, and he nails it. He has seven all late in the half. Eight-point game. 
Pirates into the front court. Chavis to ring off the front of the rim. No, Gooch can't handle it, and that'll do it. So Park Center will have an eight-point lead at the break, 40 to 32, and the Chavis lobbed the ring, hit the rim, break for the Rebels. Yeah, Chapel Park couldn't ask for a better ending to that first half. We have much more coming up, including half number two. Stick around, Park Center leading at Champlain Park, 40 to 32 at the half here on QCTV. And playing with all my guys. We've been playing together since like middle school. And I'm just seeing the coaching staff, seeing everybody every day, just makes me happy. I, mean, I, I think we hold each other accountable well. I think that's the biggest motivator for us. We don't want to let our team down. We want to play for each other. And I think that that keeps us playing hard every day. As I like, continue to play varsity, like, I continue to get better over the years, and I just want to keep getting better and producing more and more and helping the team out. So for myself, I know after, or after these last two years, I've been climbing that 1,000 point leader club, so I'm trying to get into there along, along with Trey. And uh, team-wise, I, mean, I want to go to state. I think that's all of our goals here. Jesse Jefferson, all of our assistant coaches, so that's, that's our main goal. Quiet about our goals this year. We have every intention of representing Section 74A at the state tournament. Um, we took a couple beatings the last the last two years of the section tournament, but we're confident. We have some returning players. Our players, our best players, on 15 or more on the way to play. Our junior class is pretty deep this year. Trey Board, Trace Payton, Fidani, Afi Beckway, Caleb Shear. These four guys in particular have been playing together since they were in fourth and fifth grade. So the camaraderie is good. They've had a lot of success at the younger levels. They kind of hit their lumps as freshmen and sophomores um, playing with, without a lot of experience. But they're juniors now. I just feel like we're all like so close with each other. I mean, me, Payne, all the guys have been playing together, like I said, since middle school. And I feel like we just all like are just connecting so much. Tough matchup tonight here at the Anoka Fieldhouse where the Anoka Tornadoes took on the YZ Trojans. And early on, it was a layup line for the YZ Trojans. Good feed here for Hawkinson. Sophie Hawkinson turns around, knocks that one down as well. They get out to an early lead, do the Trojans. Back come the Tornadoes as Lizzie Shokneck knocks down a big jump shot there. Cuts that lead back to four. The lead balloons back up to 11, 21-10. And then the Tornadoes kind of get going. Drew Peterson knocks down a jumper, then knocks down a three. That'll get us pretty close to the half, 27-24. Trojans lead at the break. Second half, Lydia Lackinen comes out hot, tries to get things going for the Tornadoes. Katie Emelot, though, had the answer for the YZ of Trojans. Turnaround jumper there, turnaround jumper that time after the made layup. Lackinen tries to answer on the other side. Lydia finished with 15 tonight, had a very good one. Big three from Hawkinson late, though. That was sort of the sealer as the Trojans came out in the second half and executed the offense brilliantly, getting tons of looks at the rim, a lot of made layups, a lot of second chance opportunities. And no matter what the Tornadoes tried to do, they just couldn't get much closer than 10, 11, 12 points. Finally, the lead ballooned up to 16, and that's where it stayed. Final score tonight, 60 to 44. The YZ Trojans beat the Tornadoes on QCTV. Thursday night at the Anoka Area Ice Arena, Northwest Suburban Conference Hockey. The Tornadoes hosting the Totino Grace Eagles. And it was the Eagles scoring twice in the first period after a couple of good looks there. Initial save by Lafferty, the goaltender for Anoka Horak. 
out in front from Anderson and Gallivan, his first goal of the season, 1-0 to Tino Grace. Anoka, tight look there that sailed high, then back comes Gallivan, and a rising wrister over the glove of the goaltender Lafferty. Under the crossbar, Gallivan second of the season, and it was 1-0 2-0 after the first period. One goal in the second period scored by Tatino Grace. Anoka had a power play chance and collected a couple of opportunities on that power play, unable to break through to get a goal on the board. And then off a little bit of a scramble on front, loose puck in the high slot. Blake Anderson, another high wrist shot under the crossbar. His second goal of the season made it 3-0 to Tino Grace entering the third period. Tino would score early in the third inside of the first two minutes. Scramble from behind the net, comes out in front, bodies down. Lafferty tried to cover it up and the puck came free. And Murad got his stick on it, able to play it into a mostly open net for his fifth goal of the season. That made it 4 0. And that would be our final in the game here tonight. A couple of penalties here, crashing in on the goaltender in the final seconds of the game. Some frustrations boiled over, but it's Totino Grace getting their sixth win of the season, a 4 0 win over Anoka. In, uh, in, very, in different sections, but they, they both come in with some great... Inside feet, beautiful to roll, but Rowe gets swatted a bit by Begali as it looked like he kind of altered the shot, and Fenton's going to get an open three on the other end and knock it down. The lead, nice move by Fretheim, and he takes it in on a beautiful little spin move. Drive to the paint, drive and kick. This is textbook ball right here, Swish. Oh. In the back, now he's going to have to... Whoa, that's stolen by Kapetsky, but he lost his balance. Didn't travel, there's numbers the other way. Can they finish this off in the corner for three? Got it. That's a big gift. Insanely hot right now, 12 points each on four threes. Kapetsky the drive, oh. and off the window. And still set the screen on Shaw. Logering's gonna go through it and keep it and make it. First time we've even gotten close to that, but they get a rebound and a steal. Kapetsky's got it, he's running in the floor, one on three, and takes it all the way in. Ah, what a great... It's a welcome sight for Coach Leeser. He's thinking, well, where was that earlier? Sampson for three, got it! And game. Fredheim up and under, beautiful. Gosh, that is so nice from Joey. And they lead by four. Up and under, Krushane has thought about it. Now Logering from way downtown, got it! That's a huge basket! With the Storm, they finish up strong tonight with a pretty balanced game. They get 30 in the first half, 31 in the second, they win it. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, Girls High School Basketball coming your way, QCTV, a Friday matinee. The Huskies come in with a record of 5-2, and two, taking on the Rebels of Jankum Park, 2-7. and seven. Offensive board cashing it back in. Miller had a double-double day on both rebounds and points all afternoon. Meanwhile, slicing it down the lane. Belongi picks up a couple on that drive. Beautiful move inside, great touch. Hagenbart, two of her ten on the afternoon for the Rebels. Huskies had and jumped out to an early lead. Good hands, good turnover, forced the turnover, and L.A. Fields converts on the layup after forcing that turnover. Drive to the lane here, Frost. She was not cold at all. In fact, she was hot on the afternoon, and she had 17 total. There's two of her 17 before the half. The Huskies had a 44-29 lead at half. Coming back in again, Miller, more of the same. And then, of course, Voller stops on a dime and a little spin cycle move for two of her 18 on the afternoon. A look for three. Yes, raining down the three for Cash that time. Annika Olsen picks up the trifecta, kicking it out back wide, looking at a three. Belongi cashes in on her own three beyond the perimeter. Huskies and a good hustle here. Heppel all the way down, streaks down, delivers a dime to Miller who converts. And the Huskies take home a convincing 82 to 49 win. All core four players once again: Engelby, Miller, Frost, and Voller, all in double figures. Huskies win 82 49.
Club Sir. 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 And welcome back. Champlin Park just about ready to go at half number two. Number two, 4A Park Center leading Champlin Park 40 to 32. And let's take a look at some of those highlights so far. And both teams really got it after it. Park Center leads by eight. Their big lead in the half was 11. And here's Chavis, knocks down a three. Chavis on the way to 11 points. Silky had it bumped away. Park Center plays great D. Here's Chavis in transition. Well, that's great reverse layup for Cash Chavis. And then Peterson had a block by Ring out of there. Chang Ring goes the other way, missed the dunk, and it went out of bounds. He had eight points in the first half. Meanwhile, for Champlin Park, Preston Tilke leads the way with nine. Amori Peterson has seven. But Champlin Park hanging around. Once again, Jackson Folks out, averaging 24 a game. The broken thumb suffered in the Edina game. So Park Center trying to overcome that for the next two weeks or more. Here's Chavis out in front. Otoyembo, Ring, Gooch, Chavis, Freelix. Chavis, long three, short no good, rebound. Font four, Tilke will get it out of there, fire it ahead. Poost, Poost, Tilke, Jalo, Peterson. Selick Poe for Champlin Park. Selick Poe driving, long range two, no. Rebound ripped down, and it's hauled in there by Otoyembo. And they give it to Chavis to get it across quickly. Freelix. Down in the corner, Gooch drives in and gets it to go. All right, Gooch, he has 14 to lead all. Yeah, really important for Champlain Park to try to keep this close here at the second half. And, you know, as long as they can keep it close, they'll put that pressure on Park Center, and Park Center is going to come out, really get after it here and try to close this thing out. Peterson down low and an and one opportunity for Slickpo. He has five great feed. Watama Salikpo, 5'10 freshman. Right there, and uh, Park Center fell asleep a little bit there. You know, Gooch fell asleep, and an easy two for Champlain Park, and they'll look for that, that third one and try to close this gap to seven. Gooch, three fouls, first player in the game with three, and Salikpo has six points now, 42-35. And Gooch is going to sit down. Yeah, Gooch started off the game really hot. And I haven't seen him a lot because he had those two fouls and got that third one right away. So he probably won't be around for a little bit here. In Memini into the game along the baseline. Chavis, great drive along the baseline. He has 13. Pirates by nine. Champlin Park front court. Peterson. Peterson high over his head. Puts it on the floor. Now hands it off. Poost into the paint, trying to find room. High off the glass, no. Rebound tipped out of there. Felix aboard. Here's Chavis on the break. He'll go to the block. Put up the shot. Fall down. He may have twisted an ankle. He may have twisted an ankle. He limps back into the play. Rebound tapped to the corner. Kept alive. Tilke on top. Peterson against Ring. Rattles out no good. Rebound back up. Jallo. Put it back. Tough board. He has five. Nice job. Compete, compete right there. But I'll tell you what, Ring makes such a difference in the middle of the court right there. They're afraid to put that ball up because he's had several blocks already today. And you see Cash Chavis limp to the bench and then go to the trainer's area. He twisted that ankle. And, of course, we already mentioned Folks not available with the broken thumb. Now Chavis may have turned an ankle. He has 15 points. And he goes to the sideline. Yeah, we're going to find out a little bit about the depth for Park Center with one of their starters out to start the game and now that second injury. Felix, Memini, he's going to spot up for three. That's off no good. And the rebound, Tilke, he'll lob it ahead. Zlikpo on top. Trying to kick it out into the corner, but Jalo wasn't there. They weren't on the same page on that one. No, not at all. Once again, they, they tried to go into the paint, and uh, Ring was there, and they had to kick it out, and they weren't on the same page, just like you said. Eight turnovers on Champlin Park down to Ring. Bobbled it, ends up in Tilke's hand. 
Weird turnover on the Pirates. That's number four. Here's Tilke driving in, stops at the free throw line. And now he'll swing it over to Peterson. Peterson is going to drive, had it batted away. Good defensive play, good quick hands by Felix. He'll drive in, put up the shot, no rebound, tap to the outside. Grabbed by Poost. Now it's Tilke, can't hit. Rebound, Jallo up, no good. Rebound fought for. Peterson back at it, and we're going to get a foul. Could be Ring, could be Otoyembo. Jallo really working underneath that basket. That's a couple of offensive rebounds so far for number 12 for Champlain Park. Here's another look at it. Got good position, went up. Couldn't put that little layup in, but Peterson will go to the line. Peterson, seven points in the first half. By the way, the foul on ring is first. Second on the Pirates. Peterson knocks down. He's averaging 11.1 a game, and he's closing in on that. He has eight. Yeah, I like his game. He's, he's very physical. He has some good quickness, uh, shoots the ball well. Nice all-around player for Champlain Park. Yeah, really works hard on both ends of the floor. And if you don't do that against Park Center, you're going to get it run out of the building. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But I don't know how you don't not work hard with an atmosphere like we have here tonight. Big crowd here at Champlain Park. Gooch gets it down low to ring. Double team comes, bangs his way in, puts it up and in. Great power move to the hole. Ring has 10. Right back the other way. Tilke partially blocked by ring. Coming out of there with the board, Memini. And Memini's going to run the other way, and he got fouled in the backcourt. That's Jallo. That'll be his third. First Rebel with three. First team foul on Champlin Park. Yeah, Champlin Park can not have Jallo fall out of this ballgame. They're going to have to get him out right now with three fouls, so he'll have to sit for a little bit here. But they really need him in, in this game. And Dominic Mueller, 6'5", senior, is going to come in, averaging five a game. Here's Park Center. Little leaner from 15 off. No good. Rebound tapped around. Controlled by Ring. That shot missed by Freelix. Here's a three-pointer on the way. That was Gooch. No. And the board to Peterson. Peterson will bring it up the floor. Maury Peterson hands it off. Tilke. Tilke slipped and fell top of the key. And they say he traveled. Just trying to do a little too much. Yeah, not quite sure if he was tripped there or just, yeah, it looks like he stepped on a park center player's foot. Memini around the corner comes Otoyembo. Now Gooch gets it into ring. Guarded by Tilke. They get it inside. Otoyembo up, but he drew the foul. He's going to get free throws. Park center by nine, 13.44 to go, first half. I like it when Park Center gets that ball inside instead of settling for the three. And when they get it inside there, good things seem to happen. Either they score a basket or they get fouled most of the time. Second on Mueller. Second team foul on Champlin Park. And at the free throw line, Timmy Otoyembo, 6'5", junior, averaging 10 a game. Five guys that average in double figures. Folks, of course, injured. And he has two points tonight. Misses there, and he'll get one more. Park Center had a 7-2 lead early. Then we were tied at 12, tied at 14. Park Center went up by 9, then 11 in the first half, 37-26. to 26. And Now they are up by 10 again. Right back the other way, and... Slickpo so gets a bucket. He has five and a half, eight in the game. That was a good quick transition bucket. That shot missed. Champlin parked the rebound. And now it's Tilke. Eight-point game. Champlin Park hanging in there, 13-20 to go. Mueller around the corner. Selick so Poe drives in, puts it up, blocked out of there by Ring. He'll grab it in the corner. How about that? The block and then picks it up. He Emini. has some long levers, arms and legs and he has a great job blocking. Otoyembo the three, short no good and then he'll slip as it goes out of bounds. They say it went out of bounds before Otoyembo slipped and fell. 
on that blue paint area. Chavis in, he's going to be okay. So just tweak the ankle. He's on the floor, and Timmy Otoyenbo will go to the bench. For James Ware and the Pirates. Critics down low to ring in the paint up no but a foul and then he went down hard he'll get two his first free throws of the game coming up he has 10 points yeah here's another look at it going inside I don't know how you stop him inside he's got three four inches on everybody that he's playing against first on Tilkey third on Champlin Park that went out no good Yeah, ring is 6'8". The biggest man on Champlin Park is 6'5", I think I was seeing. And that's Mueller. Ring gets that. He has 11. 50 to 41, 12, 49 to go here in the half. Rebels to inbound. Peterson, Mueller in the backcourt. Tilke up front along with Poost and Slickpo. They lob it to the elbow. Peterson look back door to Tilke. Nothing there. He'll try and spin out of it. Out of the middle, Mueller. Down the lane. Off the glass. No. Got his own rebound. Back up. No. And then it's ripped out of there by Chavis. Chavis from the free throw line. The runner is good. Six and a half, 17 in the game. And a timeout on the floor. Yeah, nice little runner there by Chavis. Here's was another beautiful. look at it. Yeah, Tilke converged on him and he just let it fly and buried it. Chavis has, I, I've got him with 17. The board has him with 16. Something's got to give here. He had 11 in the first half. We'll see if they change that up. Well, I'm going with you, Steve. Well, I got your back. I'm told at home I'm always wrong, so <laughs> yeah, me it, too. it's okay if you if you do it here. I actually heard that tonight. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm right about one out of every ten times. Yeah. That that that's not a very good batting no, average. No, that, that is not. That is. I said, well, this one I'm right on. I don't remember what it was, but I was probably wrong. Way back in the day, I maybe hit the Mendoza line. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. So 52-41 and Park Center keeping him at arm's length. I think the good news for Park Center is Chavis who tweaked the ankles back in the game. Yeah, absolutely. He makes a difference. He's having a nice game. And, you know, Champlin Park is a run away from being in the game. And, the bad news is they're a run away from being out of the game. So I think these next five minutes here are going to be really important for both of these teams. 52-41, and these teams already met earlier this year at Park Center. And that was the game won by the Pirates, 89-72. We're well below that tonight. Coming up on 12 to go in the game, here's Mueller for the Rebels. Out on top, Slick Poe spins around. Drives left of the lane, put it up, no good. And the rebound, Gooch, he's back in the game with three. He'll go down the lane, put up a tough shot. No, a rebound tapped around. Tilke actually tapped it to Mueller. Beautiful play, and that's going to be an over and back. Yeah, Poos got in a bad spot right at the timeline, and that's an over and back. That's a good call by the official. Yeah, definitely a good call. You could see that he was in trouble right here. And our staff, man, they're right on it tonight, our camera guys. There's a look at it. Good call by the officials. Memini with it. Down the lane, had it knocked away. Ball on the deck, tried to keep it alive, and then he traveled. Turnover on the Pirates, number five. Champlain Parks turned it over 10 times tonight. The, the turnovers haven't got out of hand, and, and there's no question. One of the things they do is force turnovers. That's the way James Ware is just all over teams defensively. It, there, there's no doubt you're going to turn the ball over against them. And then you got Tilke bumping into Memini in the backcourt, and that's going to go on Tilke. 
in, re in reality, there was a collision. And Tukey's arguing was just trying to get by him. Yeah, we're going to get another look at it right here. Ah, he was moving. It was a moving screen right there. Another good call by the officials. They're doing a nice job tonight. Two on Tilkey, four on Champlin Park. Two fouls on the Pirates into the backcourt. Xavier Freelix. And now we're going to do that inbound again. And on the inbounds, Aiden Memony. Chavis from the elbow puts it up off no good rebound up. drives in all the way to the hole good driving bucket Peterson four in the half 11 in the game yeah here's that danger area for Champlain Park and every time it happens they cut back into that lead into single digits so they're closing in again on single digits Gooch swings it across catch there Memony is going to hand it off Felix now it's Chavis Cash Chavis has 16 on the board. There's a three down deep and out in the rebound to Kiros for Champlin Park. He keeps it alive, gives it to Tilkey. Tilkey running the floor, bats it into the corner to Peterson. Now out on top, Kiros. Right back to Tilkey. Peterson cutting to the hoop, got bumped, hangs on to it. Lobs it all the way across. Kuros, baseline all the way up. Missed the shot. Rebound tapped out of the air. Chavis on the break. Peterson, or excuse me, Mueller knocks it away. Peterson has it. And then it's stolen by Gooch. Gooch leading a three-on-one. Gives it up. Shot off no good. Followed by Chavis. 56-43. Yeah, that's something they practice a lot, a three-on-one. And... They did a really nice job of at Park Center getting that rebound and scoring. Gooch to Chavis, back to Gooch, missed the shot, comes down, and we got a foul. Well, that quick three on the other end by Champlin Park and Mueller, maybe not what they wanted, down by 13 with 9.28 to go. And that foul is going to go on Mueller. That'll be number three on him, fifth on Champlin Park. Yeah, Mork does a nice job coming in for Park Center. He's six foot seven. When he comes in for ring, cleans up the boards pretty well. And he knocks that one down. Buna Mork. First points of the game right there. 57-43 Pirates. Happy birthday, Dan Corcoran, one of our camera operators and our great QC TV crew. Happy birthday. There he is. <laughs> Ought to be that young again, Pete. Yeah, no kidding. 57-43. <laughs> Pirate ball. It's almost past my bedtime right now. <laughs> right. What time is it? 8.30? Yeah. Watch the news hit the hay. They get it in, and that's ring. Ring five and a half, 13 in the game, 59-43. Pirates pulling away. Coming up on nine to go in the game. Bumped out on top. Walter swings it to the left. Mueller back in the corner. This is Walter. No. Ring fires it ahead. Chavis runs it down. Slams it. Yeah, I think that ankle's okay. Yeah, and then Champlin Park turns it over, and this one's getting away, and Gooch is going to inbound in front of that Rebel bench, and that's what they do. Yeah, just some real good quickness right here, and bam, put her down. 20 for Chavis. I will argue I have him for 21. I don't know how that happened, but I'm going to go down and check that scorebook before I go home. <laughs> 8.42 to go. Memini. Leaner from 12, got it. That was not an easy shot. And he has seven. Nine hole run and Park Center leads by 20. I was gonna say we went about uh, nine points here in a row for Park Center. Mueller shot up, no good. Tilkey can't grab the board, ring. Hands it off, here's Chavis. Cash Chavis, 
Drives into traffic. Another runner from the right of the lane. That was a really tough shot. He made it look easy. Yeah, Chavis is taking over right now for Park Center. Tilkey, he'll go in, blocked by Ring. Tilkey goes down, Chambis on the break, under eight, ring on top, and he traveled. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to give a foul there. I thought it was a travel, and good call by the official. Yeah, the big guys don't get away with that. <laughs> they do not. Smaller guys sometimes, but ring isn't going to get away with that one. It's, easy to, it's easy to see feet on those big guys. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> for sure. Well, Park Center, the real deal. And scary moment when Chavis went down with that tweaked ankle here in the half. He bounced back and has been on a roll. He has 23 on the board, 65-43. Tilkey trying to drive, and it's stolen away. Otayembo kicks it back out. Felix, he'll hit a three. He has seven. 68-43, 14 0 run by the Pirates. They are so dangerous when they can hit those three. Kuros love, answers. Love them going inside, but when they hit those three with those inside game, they're tough. Now they're going to bring it over the timeline and work it a little bit more. Memini down the lane, put it up, off no good, and the rebound hole down by Walter. Walter's going to try and dribble out of there. Got it by Otoyembo. Chavis out of the game. Gets a breather. Outside. Tilkey. Runs into Ring. And the foul's going to go on Ring. And that'll be number two on him. Big yeah, collision. We haven't heard a whole lot from Tilkey this second half. And uh, I like where he takes his ball inside with the trees. And. Gets fouled and will get to the free throw line. Tilkey in the game, eight points, well below his season average of 17.2. By the way, that foul on ring is the third on the Pirates. And Tilkey got it. Three you know, of three from the line. With that being said, Steve, I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't seen Champlin play, but I'm guessing he scores a lot of points inside, and, and ring makes a big difference and keeps him out of there. And that's why his point total is so low. Yeah, it, it just changes your approach. You, 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 you can't drive. You have to find out where he is. And if you do drive, you got to think about giving it up and, and get ring on the move down low. He's a nice player, though, three for Champlin Park. And ring may be bleeding and has to go to the sideline with 644 to go in the game. And. James Ware is going to bring someone into the ball game. Actually, we're going to get a jersey change. Yeah, there's definitely some blood. Yeah, now they're figuring out if they're going to allow the jersey change to 32. James Ware went down the bench and said, I need a jersey. But we're going to get a timeout here and, and keep it right here. And tell you what's coming up for these teams, Champlin Park. Uh, they're done for the week after tonight. Tell them at Rogers on Tuesday. Spring Lake Park on Thursday. Then at Andover. And then a uh, big rivalry game with Anoka. As Anoka had that huge win at Andover early in the week. What a thrilling finish. I invite you to go to QCTV.org and see a replay of that game. That, that, that was a good ball game. An OK Andover and then Tartan coming up before the end of the month. There's still a long way to go in this boys basketball season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, most teams by now know who they are and uh, who their top players are. Now it's just fine-tuning things here that second half so you're set when playoff time comes. Uh, when, late February? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, Way over a month to go, and by the yeah. way, for the Pirates, big one at Osseo coming up later on in the month. Circle that one on your calendar. So many great rivalry games here in the Northwest Suburban. And that one on the 26th, Park Center in Osseo. 
Should be a dandy. Maple Grove right before that one. So yeah. those would be a couple big ones. Tilkey hits a free throw. Well, we went from 10 points to 20 points real fast here. That's what Park Center can do to you. You take your foot off the gas for just a little bit, and all of a sudden you find yourself in a deep hole. So Ring is now wearing 32. They did the jersey switch. And they get it to Ring down low, and he puts it up and in. And Ring has seven and a half, 15 in the game. 70 to 48. Rebels the ball. Spinning, Walter. Down into the corner, Peterson. Peterson's had a good game. Good feed. Kuros missed the shot, but I think he got fouled. Chavis and Kuros. There's quite a ways over to the bleachers, and Chavis got all the way over there to is. the bleachers. You can see that they love blocking shots. Who doesn't? But uh, these kids, they love to block a shot. Yeah, and he almost fell over backwards, so a good job by Chavis to stay on his feet. Kuros at the line. And he knocks it down. He's now two or three from the line with four, five points. You know, we were talking earlier on Park Center is at 30-some points. You look up right now, they're at 70 with, uh, you know, six minutes to go. So they're well on their way to scoring 80 again. Ebony guarded out on top by Javon Kuros. They get it to the right, and Chavis with six to go and a foul off the ball. And that's going to be Walter with the foul, number two on him, six on Champlin Park, four on Park Center. Chavis to inbound, fires it to the outside. Memony missed a shot, rebound hauled down, Otoyembo. Put it up and it goes out of bounds. Pirates are going to hang on. Otayumbo scores in double digits. Kind of having a rough night tonight, but you know when you have as many guys who score double figures, you can afford to have a guy not hit double figures. Nice inbound pass and flush there by Ring. And Ring has nine and a half, 17 in the game. Peterson. Trying to find room. Good feed down low, and Jallo has seven. That was a nice feed by Peterson. Good patience. Jallo came free and hit the shot. Here's Chavis. Skips it across. Ring in the corner. Three ball. No. And the rebound, Jallo. He'll hand it off to Peterson. Tilke on the bench for a moment. And now it's Kuros. Runner down the lane. Got it. It's a good looking shot. He has seven total points. Coming up on five to go in the game. You got to love those runners. They're a nice looking basketball shot. Here's a long three off the hands of Freelix. Pirates get the board, but a foul on Champlin Park. By the way, update on Chavis, 23. So they updated the scoreboard. I have 23 in my book. You have 23 in the score. You'll be able to sleep yeah. well tonight now. Well, no, no, no. More importantly, <laughs> it'll save me a trick down, down to look at the book <laughs> after the game. Uh, they must have been watching on TV here. Well, 11 in the first half, and he has six two-pointers here in the second half. <laughs> that Anoka uh, Matthews is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, District 11. And free throw no good. Rebound tapped out of there. Chavis. The miss on the front end. Champlin Park over the limit. Here's Kuros. Kuros, senior guard. And do we have another foul here off the ball? I think we do. 427 to go in the game. 72-53. Park Center on their way to 13 and 1. That foul is going to go on Chavis. That'll be his second. 
Rebels Tinbaum Peterson trying to find somebody to get free, and they lob it to the outside, and Carroll. Toki's still on the bench. Now Peterson on top. Peterson's going to drive right of the lane. Stop. Fade away. Got it. That was pretty. 13 points for him. 6-0 run for Champlin Park. Javis. Not a ring. Right of the lane. Free throw line. Otoyambo wide open. Jay, no. Long rebound out of there to Kuros. He'll run the floor. Give it up. Mueller, no. Follow Peterson blocked. And a foul on Otoyambo. Yeah, you can see Otoyambo doesn't have that confidence tonight. Had about a little six-foot bunny there and decided to pass it off instead of taking the shot. And that's, that's not like a guy who scores in double figures. Three points tonight for him. And at the line is Peterson. Peterson's battled his way to 13 points, 2-2 two two from the line. And he really has battled tonight. I mean, there's no doubt. Maury Peterson's done a really nice job. New face in for Park Center and Josiah Smith was 6'5", sophomore, number 33. Tilke got the board and hitting the three, Kuros. Second made three of the half. He has 10 points in this half, 11 in the game. Right back the other way, followed by Ring. No, but he'll get free throws. Josiah Smith shaking his head had a little gimme right there. Missed it and it's like, man, got to make that. 6'5", sophomore, getting some varsity action. Ring will get the opportunity at the line. Ring has 17 tonight. The Champlain Park cut this to 14. Made a little bit of a run here. Three in minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Yeah, 9 will run to be exact. Pirates still in control, and Ring got that one. Now two or three from the line tonight. Make make that two or four. 73, 58, 328 to go. Tilke down in the corner. Poost. Kyler Poost out on top. Kuros. Peterson, three ball. Got it. Peterson, nice half. 16 points in the game. And we have a foul. No, I, we, we just have a stoppage. No foul. They got to get it back to the Pirates to the inbound. And now Chavis, double team, throws it ahead. Stolen away by Poost. Kick down in the corner. So like Poe hits a three. He has 11. 73-64. And then the Pirates in transition get a bucket and an and one. Xavier Freelix will go to the line. Oh, that was big right there for Park Center. Champlin cut this thing to single digits. Almost got a turnover there. So Lick Poe's second. And at the line, Freelix. Freelix here tonight, seven points. That one spun around and went down. Actually, a three point play. Now he has 10 points in the game. And 76-64, three-point play for Freelix. Kiros gets it to the outside. Slick Poe. 238 to go. Kiros again. Long three, and he got it. That's some serious range. Three made threes in the half. 13 points in the game. 76-67 with 229 to go in the game. <laughs> well, well they're not going away. Coach Ware for Park Center is not real happy with his guys right now. Not doing a great job defending on these three and Champlain Park's making them. So, they got to be proud of this Champlain Park team. They are they're not going away. They're playing right till the end and they're only down by 9. Not a lot of time left, but they've really competed tonight. Yeah, and they've knocked down some three. How about Javon Kiros? In the half, 12 points, three made three, 13 overall points in the game. And now Park Center will come out of the timeout. 
think you get the ball in the hands of Cash Chavis. Yeah, absolutely. When he has it in his hands, good things have happened for Park Center tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, good crowd tonight. Band is here. Great job by this Rebel Pep Band. They got the piano down there. They got drums. They've got they got some electric guitars and electric bass over there. The old double bass. Yeah, good sounding band here tonight. Yeah, I see the, the big old basses over there. Yeah, that, I like that. That's, that's cool. They, they, they definitely got it going on. And sounding good. Javis Tinbound in the backcourt guarded by Tilke. 229 to go in the ball game. They get it in. Here's Gooch. Gucci had a huge first half. He's running the floor, throws it away. Ring cut to the hoop, and Gooch threw it right by him. All right, Gooch had 12 at the half, just two in the second half, 14 in the game, and now the Rebels down by nine have the ball. Here's Kiros. He's been on fire. Kiros to the middle. Peterson, another three. Off no good. Rebound fought for and grabbed by Memini. Back the other way, Gooch to ring. He catches, dribbles out of there. Now to the outside, Chavis. Chavis with two, guarded by Peterson. Chavis spins out of there into the lane. Got the layup. Tough shot. He has 25. That's big time play right there. A big oh. miss by Champlin Park, but then a big time player with a big time play for Park Center. Kuros. Well, what would you say? Here's Boost. He tried to drive inside and gets fouled. Get it in the hands of Chavis. Yeah, I think that one's on Gooch. Yeah. Probably four. I think that's four on Gooch right now. Yeah. It is. First player in the game with four. Seven team foul on the Pirates. At the line is going to be Kyler Poos. Six points all in the first half. Well, the important thing right here is the clock stop and Champlain Park's putting points up and cut this thing to single digits. A minute 39 remaining. Seventy-eight, sixty-nine, one thirty-nine to go. Chavis to inbound, directing traffic, fires it ahead to ring, gets it to Chavis on the break, goes in and lays it down. Chavis. With 27. Rebels down by 11. Tilkey in the corner. Peterson three. No. Gooch comes out of there with the board. Gooch running the floor. He'll go in. He'll lay it up and in and get fouled. And that's going to do it with 118 to go in the game. Yeah, they don't slow it down and run time. It's like, let's go and score right now. And Coach Ware seems okay with that. So, Park Center. Now getting themselves into the double digit lead. Chamberlain Park over the 10 foul limit. Kuros with number two. And Gooch at the line. And he knocks that down to complete the three point play. He has 17. 83 69. There's Champlin Park with 110 to go in the game. Tilkey. Gives it up. Boost. Further out, Peterson. Peterson's going to drive on ring. Fade away. Off no good. And the rebound to Gooch. He'll stumble out of there with it. Get it further back. And now Freelix will give it up. Here's Memini. Memini to ring on the block. Up, in, and one. Yeah, I think this is the third two and one in the last two minutes here for Park Center. And they've been making that free throw after scoring the hoop. 7-0 run by the Pirates, 41.7 to go. Hoost with the foul is first. Ring, out of there, no good, rebound Peterson. Ring, by the way, 11 in the half, 19 in the game. The other way, Kuros a miss, rebound Chavis. He'll try to dribble out of there and gets fouled by Kyler Poost. The 30.9 will go to the end of the floor and 
Chavis will shoot free throws. Yeah, two or three from the line. Looks like he might have got one in the mouth there. Cash Chavis, 27 points. Make that 28. Nice night. To number 11 for Park Center. Yeah, such a good player. Great defensive player, but he can score from the outside, but so dynamic on the dribble drive. Got them both, 87-69. Peterson in the backcourt, double team comes, tries to step through it, jump ball. Champlin Park's going to hang on. And Rebels got a break there, but and they get it in, stolen away by Gooch. Gooch fires it across, knocked down Memini. He's going to dribble out of there. Shot clock is off. He's going to go to the middle of the floor. And NBA style, he's just going to dribble it out. And the Rebels are going to head for the sideline. And these teams will exchange handshakes. Park Center is going to get the win. They move to 13 and 1. Champlin Park falls to 5 and 8 overall. The final 87 69. Well, an entertaining game tonight, Steve. Champlin Park hanging in there. Doing a nice job. Park Center just a little bit too much for them. And they continue on the great season that they're having. Amori Peterson leads Champlin Park with 16. On the flip side, 29 for Cash Chavis. 20 in the ball game for Chang Ring down low. 17 for Ari Gooch. And Park Center goes to an 87-69 victory. Hey, a big thanks to our QCTV crew led by Ryan Mush. Pete, always good to work with you. Same to you, Steve. A lot of fun. And I forgot to say it earlier, but Happy New Year, Pete. <laughs> yeah, it's you too. Pete Hayes. Steve Thompson, once again, our final score.